Hmm. That does trouble me, though, having to give precious artifacts away to help CSAC. But. To be honest, it's more along the lines of they are important to various people and cultures. And I think ultimately it's a trade off between that and getting credits for it and helping out CSEC. I'm not really sure what to do about it. No new mail. Okay, that means it's time to go back to touring the galaxy. <laughs> touring the galaxy sounds a bit like something a rock star would do. Okay, let's go. Is anywhere new showing up? Da -da 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 -da. Well, I've got me I've got um, destinations. Oh, destination find artifacts. Ooh, okay. Okay, um, if it's a special set of artifacts, then I don't really have a problem with that. Hmm. I need to decide where to go, and pretty sharpish. <laughs> Um, let's go with the Krogan DMZ. Why is it only saying 33%? After I did some scanning there last time I scanned, it read at 100%. Yeah, Nith, 100%, but now I've got some new systems opened up, it seems. Huh. Um. Well, actually, I'll leave that until after I've gone to Tachanka, since there seems to be a bunch of stuff for me to do there. I can investigate the Cerberus presence or extract the Turian survivors. And it seems that um, Tachanka is as hospitable as ever. This is going to be fun. So, let's go and let's go after the uh, son of the Turian Primarch. Since it seems I've got different landing sites this time around. Okay then. Um, again, I'll go heavy warrior loadout. I'm against Reapers this time, I believe. And I don't want to swap the armor around, since I already chose the bonuses I preferred, which was uh, shields, make them both more durable. They are good little decoys. And I won't say that to their faces. Well, not yet, anyway. Let's see. Um... Oh, I didn't get an upgrade for the concentration mod. But still, the spare clips is more important to me on the sniper rifle since I've run out so much. Piercing mod or ammo? Ammo for that, definitely. Um, high caliber barrel. I don't want the scope, don't want the magazine. Piercing mod, tempting, but I think the release stunner. It's more flexible because it gives me an elite option. Now, James, let's see. The upgraded barrel and the shredder. That's a pretty small blade, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, that's giving the piercing on that. Apparently I can attach an extended barrel to this, but it's not actually extending outwards. <laughs> but still, he doesn't need the ammo capacity on it. And lastly, Garrus. He has extended barrel and ammo he doesn't need. So I'll put the piercing mod on him. Wait a second. That's mine. Not hit. Not Garrus. Whoops. <laughs> uh. That was a bit silly of me. Okay, Garrus. Here we go. And he does have the ammo mod on him. So 
give him the extended barrel instead. And on the uh, sniper rifle, yes, more accurate. In, or an extra bit of damage. I think I'll go with the higher accuracy, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, let's confirm that before I mess up anything else. No, there were three points. Level 38. Hmm. Um, upgrade cost 5, upgrade cost 5. No, I can't afford any of the upgrades I want. Okay, Garrus. Let's max out his Turian Rebel. Increase sniper rifle damage or increase power damage over all squad mates. Hmm. That's a handy support roll, that one. But the damage increase from his sniper rifle, that would be very handy. Let's go with that one. And James, he's got four points. I can upgrade his arm master for that. Weapon damage boost 20%, or increase health and shields by another 40%. He's a tank and a decoy, so I want his defences high. And there we go. Please insert disc 2. Lovely. Oh well, this won't take a second. got to wonder, we keep improving these high capacity discs, giving more and more storage space, and then the space it needs keeps going up and up as well. It's not very good really. Sooner or later something's got to give. Hmm. Oh well. Um, I've managed to set up my team without messing anything up too badly. <laughs> I, I really should buy some more weapon upgrades at some point. And I don't mean mods, I mean... This crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, ma'am. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, ma'am, but the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Edie? Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. This sounds bad. Let's move. Okay. It's worse than I fear. Okay, yeah, this is actually pretty bad. Um, since someone gets Reapers... Wait a sec, was that a targeting thing over there? Oh, great. Let's load up armor-piercing ammo, I'd say. Yeah, let's see, sniper rifles as well. I'm going to ignore the disruptor ammo unless I come across some marauders or anything else that needs that particular ammo type. Right, okay, let's go. Um, things are pretty bad here. I'm not sure which part of the code got violated, but SMG magazines upgrade, thank you. Hmm. I'm not sure which part of the Turian combat. The Turian mission on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? You're the Turian. You tell us. I got nothing, Lieutenant. Yeah, guys, it does seem odd, doesn't it? Okay, let's see. 
So, wait, like enemies. Oh yeah, that did the trick. Hmm. Let's see now. What is this? Spare parts. Yay, 3,000 more credits. And yes, this planet is still as much of a mess as always. What the hell were they doing here? The Chorians, I mean. Explosion. Tempest. Ooh. Um, I don't want to mess around with my loadout, so I'll just pick it up and continue. I remember the Tempest, though. What the heck is that? Well, that's just cloth, but... Visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. Okay, let's make this count. <laughs> it's actually going quite well. Harvester, Wait, what? Harvester? What the? Try and get his attention then. Um Damn it. Doesn't seem to be very much that can be done. Also blue bits of weak spots. I wonder what's up here. Sniper rifle ammo upgrade. See if a headshot does anything. Whoa! Holy moly, that did a ton of damage. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Don't stop for us. We'll head for the main crash site. There's another pod ahead. Jesus. Um. <laughs> yeah. Not one left behind. Wow. <laughs> yep, I, I can't believe that I managed to tear into Keep that moving. harvester we so bad. We need to bad. find the main crash site ASAP. Being the son of Adrian Victus is a lot to live up to. It's his biggest military name on Paladin. War's expected to run in Victus' blood. Doesn't always work that way. You gotta make your own name. That's true, James. What's this? A face on... Face drawn. Hmm. New rifle, I think, if I remember from multiplayer. Um. Yet, yes, it is. Okay, let's. I can't mod it since. Um, yeah, I can't mod that unfortunately. So I'm going to leave the um, Avenger on because it's just better in most respects. Let's see now the Tempest. Um, better damage and accuracy than the Shuriken. Lower rate of fire as well. But the Shuriken is a burst fire while the Tempest is a rapid, full auto. I have pleasant memories of loading that with disruptor ammo and tearing apart enemy shields with it. <laughs> that was useful. 
But I've already got a rapid fire weapon, so not right now, thank you. Yeah. And now I've got to re equip all my stupid ammo upgrades. Okay. Just want to take a second. <laughs> 